I think it, we, surely we can agree that what happened on October the 7th was a war crime. I mean, when people are taking grandmothers yeah. and executing them, yeah. kidnapping young children, yeah. when, they're, when they're, sh they're killing babies in their cribs, we can agree that's war crime, right? OK, babies... Can we? Surely, of course, 100%. Right. But babies in the crib... Uh, sorry, what was the evidence for that? You don't believe of, that happened? Uh, the, sorry, CNN, mm. the White House, mm. uh, Sky News, which you work for, all say... I don't work for Sky News. Well, you, your, your, your thing... I did work at CNN. I saw, sure, one, sure. I saw one reporter who retracted it because she wasn't sure about the source. It's then, unconfirmed by the White House. But then the Daily Telegraph and the Jerusalem Post and other sources then did publish pictures. The CNN... Which indisputably showed babies have been killed. No, it showed one baby who's, who's been charred and that, video, that picture has been put up on Twitter and has been refuted by uh, many people saying that it's actually AI. More no, no, of... that, that's completely untrue. That is, that no, is no, true. No. What's your source? Mohammed. Mohammed, What's your source? It, there's been a thorough investigation into the so, claim that was put up there by some rogue person on Twitter that it was AI. It has been completely disproven. Okay, let me that ask picture, question. which was published What's on the source? Telegraph, What's is, your a, source? is a genuine, legitimate What's your picture. What is your source? Are you seriously arguing that yes, babies yes. weren't killed? And no, I didn't say that. Well, what not, are you saying? I, I'm saying, give me a source. Yeah. You know full well you've been fired from the Daily Mirror for fake images. Mm. So you know full well about the. the I didn't accept they were fake. Exactly. The UK government did. Mm. Yeah, they did. Uh huh. Because so, the now, UK government, just to be clear, sure, sure, had waged, in my view, an illegal war in Iraq. So you're allowed to go we, against the government, hang on. and I'm not allowed to go um, against the Israeli no, no, government. You're allowed, of course, you're allowed to. So tell me now, what's the source? You seem to be making a lot of presumptions about me, Mohammed. Yes, yeah, I was you had the softball question. I was for your the editor, ambassador. Of, no, they weren't. I put all the questions to the ambassador. I was the editor of the Daily Mirror when we opposed the Iraq war, sure, on the grounds that I believed it was an illegal war. Yeah. I still believe that to this day. I think Good. it stained this country. Fantastic. I don't think you even knew that. I did know that. Right. But I'm not, that's not the point I was making. Mm. I was making the point that if you're allowed to go against a government mm. in their classification of a, an image, mm. then if you have pro-Palestinian uh, activists who are saying, actually, we need to see a source, shouldn't they be entitled to the that? The Daily Telegraph published on page three... Should they be entitled to that, yes you're or talking no? about, The Daily Telegraph they be entitled to that, yes said no? they had independently verified Should they be the in... picture, Mohammed. No, excuse me. If you're saying that their Primary verification source is wrong... No, excuse me. Primary source in academia... I know mm. you've done a journalism uh, degree, which mm -hmm. is, well, frankly, it's not relevant to what we're talking about mm. here anyway. Probably is to journalism, yeah. Uh, no, it's not to this conflict. But mm. we academics require primary source evidence in mm. order to make it... The Daily Telegraph the said... Source evidence? The Daily Telegraph said they verified the picture. It's, it's, <laughs> that's a second resource. Right, you may say... That's you, a second resource. You may say... That's a second resource. Well, you may say you don't think it's genuine. I don't agree with you. Mm. But the wider point... That was my point. But the I wider said wider I want point, a source. Mohammed, I just want to see the evidence. we're arguing about here. You're not contesting that babies were killed. No, I'm saying I want to see the evidence. So why, why are you picking on the semantics of the Rasty of one picture, it's not, it's not. which has been verified by British journalists? Why are you picking on that? British some, journalists some are not example authority. Some of this wasn't as bad as it seems. British journalists are not an academic authority. You know mm. that full well. You've been fired because, from Daily Mirror for that mm. very purpose. What I'm saying to you is this. Putting this issue to the side, I think you're trying to use this as a red herring to, to move away from the what bigger issues. What red issue. herring? This is a red herring because already 1,023 children have been killed in Gaza. Mm. That's why. And you didn't ask the ambassador that question. I literally you? asked the ambassador. No, no, I said 3,000 people have already been killed in a week in sure. Gaza. Well, you didn't ask her. Well, you, did you she even condemn, listen you to my it? interview with I the did ambassador? Listen, I did listen, but excuse me. Well, you, don't put words in my no, mouth or say I didn't ask a question. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Do you condemn the killing of those children by the IDF? I'll tell you what I condemn. I yes can, or no? I'm going to answer your question honestly and truthfully. Sure. And Because I've tweeted about this, right? Oh, okay. I think that what happened on October the 7th was one of the worst atrocities I have ever had to read about or watch on. It happens just... every day in Palestine. No, no. So why do you care it, about that? It actually so doesn't. It doesn't. It, actually. it does actually. No, no. Yes. No. The Israeli forces. I've got the stats for that. Israeli you know. forces do not go. Cast lead. It... Wait a minute, protective Mohammed. Edge. Go and check out. Mohammed. Israeli forces. Cast lead, protective edge. Israeli forces don't go into Gaza on yeah. one day and grab grandmothers and kill babies in Wait, their beds okay, okay. and no, no, hold on. Uh, rape and abuse women. So, uh, rape, is there any evidence for that? There, it's been re multiple reports no, in no, multiple no, no. mainstream well, media publications. Whom? Well, you're going to sit here and deny everything, No, right? no, I'm not denying anything. You are? No, I accept that them, some civilians have been killed. I mm. do accept this. And I, and I already said... You I don't could... believe any of the reports that women were raped? No, I didn't say that. I said that it's still to well, be... do you think they were raped? No, I don't know. It's like the uh, Russell Brand thing. You said we don't know. We need to see the evidence. So why do you apply uh, uh, two I'm different not. standards? I'm okay, so it's been reported... When it's Israel, we know they're raped. When no, it's Russell Brand, it's you been... don't know because you're No, it's been reported by legitimate news sources... When it's Israel, you I know believe, they're raped. But when it's I Russell believe, Brand, you don't know. Them. When it's Russell Brand, you There's don't know if they're raped. There's no comparison between Russell Brand and what's happening It's the same thing. It's a rape allegation. Why are you stuttering? 
I'm not stuttering. You are stuttering. You don't you, have any. You're contesting to say. every single thing that I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's and a, that's I'm the point of an argument. At the end, 1,300 people yeah. were brutally 2, murdered. 2,000 people have been killed on the other side. Abused. 2,000 people have been killed on I the other side. I said that to the ambassador. Okay, but do you condemn that, yes or no? I don't think so. Any... You refuse to condemn. No. You do refuse to condemn. Why are you putting words in my mouth? Because you're not you're not condemning it, are you? What do you want me to condemn? Condemn. Okay, right? excellent. What do I want you to condemn? Yes. I want you to condemn the fact that the IDF, knowing that it's more probable than not. Mm. Pressing buttons from the sky, mm -hmm. killing innocent civilians, yep. 1,000 of them children, that that is a war crime and that is not acceptable morally. Just like I you condemned the other one. Is it condemnable? Or I not? believe, given the scale of what Hamas did on October the 7th, on, Israel is entitled to, to kill defend. children. No, that's not what I said. Go ahead. They're entitled to defend themselves with How? force. Okay. Absolutely. You know what? I'm going to do something that nobody done on your television. Mm. You know what I'm going to do I'm on your episode? I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend that I'm an Israeli citizen. I'm going to put my, my, myself in the, in the place of an Israeli settler in the kaputs. And I want to speak to my prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, I have voted for you because you have promised us peace and prosperity and security. On the 7th of October, those son of bitches Hamas they went into the fence that is regularly heavy, heavily guarded. Usually, if there's like a, a, a dove that comes close to it, it will be shot. Mm. Those people went in and they went for six hours before IDF forces was deployed, killing our friends, our families, kidnapping our grandmothers and babies and went in. I want to ask you, Mr. Prime Minister, after you have fractured the Israeli community and you have fucked our courts, our Supreme Courts. What are you doing with the money being given to you to the United States? Also, you are carpet bombing Gaza with absolutely no regard to our hostages, our people. I heard a rumor in the kibbutz that you're doing that as an, you let that happen to, as an excuse to carpet bomb Gaza, so you push them into Sinai. And I didn't believe that. That's like, not my prime minister. He can never do that. And then I watch an interview for Danny Ailon. He was your chief advisor, he was also the Israeli ambassador to the United States. And you know what he said, Mr. Prime Minister? He said that the solution for those Palestinians is to go into a vast land of Sinai and live into 10 cities temporarily, huh? temporarily, wink, wink, until we build Gaza again, and then we invite you back. Aha. We've seen this movie before. So يعني, and, I, and when I saw this, I couldn't explain to my fellows in the kibbutz how come our Israeli government is trading human lives for another piece of land? So as an Israeli citizen, I need to hold my Israeli government accountable. And as an American citizen, I want to know all of these money that we are giving to Israel. We're giving them $4 billion every year. Joe Biden said it's the best investment they ever, America ever done. Well, I, if I am in the, in the place of Joe Biden, I would say, sorry, don't speak uh, yet. I, I, would, I would say, if I was Joe Biden, I would go down and whisper in the ears of Netanyahu and tell them, I hate bad investments. They haunt me, you know, like Littlefinger in Game of Thrones. But the thing is, the thing is, this is the problem. Israel always victimizes itself, and I have never seen a victim putting their oppressor under siege and bombing them 24-7. Israel wants you to believe that they are the victim. Is, dealing with Israel is so difficult. It's like being in a relationship with a narcissistic psychopath. He fucks you up, and then he makes you think it's your fault. All right, you Basim. look at Israel as Superman, but they're really Homelander. Wallah, they are like they are, you, you, they are shooting Basim, fish I want to say in one a barrel, thing. and want... they are annoyed with the splashes. Basim, I want to say two things. One, if you could just slightly manage your language, we are uncensored. But if you keep swearing, I, I'm very sorry. We I have am, to I am, apologize I to sorry. viewers. I'm you so may sorry. be offended by that. I apologize. Um, but I understand I passions run high, so let's not get too bogged down about. The old swear uh, I word. apologize to the um, viewers. I apologize to the viewers for my language. I, my second question the, is this: the, the, after the, the sight of, uh, of dead civilians, after the break, we so when you have uh, when Ahi, you have but the every truth single. Is, can I just finish? If you watch the I BBC, this? if you watch the I, BBC I, account of all this last night by their Verify unit, which was specifically set up by the BBC to be completely dispassionate in these investigations. And they reached a pretty clear conclusion based on circumstantial evidence. I'll make that clear that this would not have been an Israeli airstrike, including, for example, the size of the crater, which bears no relation to the size of craters normally left yes. by Israeli air. So, look, my point is, neither of us know for sure. But you took to your airwaves immediately because actually your 
I wouldn't even say unconscious bias. Your admitted propagandist bias on your part was that you wanted that to be an Israeli airstrike. It suited your narrative. And I would say that that in itself, in its I way, wanted it to be is an being Israeli a stenographer. Airstrike. Well, you know, you accuse me no, of being putting, a stenographer. You're I try and be mouth. fair and get to the truth. In your case, I don't think mm -hmm. you try to do that. I think you appeal to your audience, appeal to your base, this and you don't really care whether the facts are there or not. This is entirely unfair because you just said circumstantial evidence favors that this was not an Israeli airstrike. Yeah. I gave you all of the circumstantial evidence that it does favor that this is an Israeli airstrike. Mm -hmm. The reason why, however, circumstantial evidence is not enough. And the one thing that I will concede to, because when more information did come out, and no, I do not mean when Israel said that they did not bomb mm -hmm. this hospital and it was actually Hamas. And then they turned around and went, never mind, it's not Hamas, it's actually Islamic Jihad. And then they said, we have more evidence coming out in a couple hours. And then the evidence came out, and it turns out it sounded like uh, it, it, the, the phone conversations that they were able to intercept, supposedly, uh, sounded like, uh, 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 by experts at the very least, uh, to be uh, completely false and, and uh, completely uh, made up. Yeah, but I don't accent. think, I'd listen, in all, all honesty, wrong. Now, I now, don't this, think, wait, even on. as you're hold saying on, all let me finish. This. I think you're a smart guy. Piers, let me finish. I think you've looked at all of this, and I think in your heart, you know this was probably not an Israeli airstrike. And I'm just curious why that's, you would, instead of admitting no, that as facts no, change, that is your not what I'm changed. saying. That no, is not what I'm saying at all. I don't all. understand why you would Please. double and treble you, you, down you're when you're the evidence is pointing show. the other you're way. You're asking me to be on your show. Do you want to talk? Yes. Do you, you, if you're asking me to be on your show, and I want to be on the show, thank you so much for having me on your yeah. show, let me explain exactly what I said. And let me explain to you why I think still t to this very moment, until there is a third party investigation mm. that is concluded by uh, the UN, the International Criminal Court, or specifically a forensic analyst that uh, that looks at the situation is allowed to be on the ground. This is not just my perspective. This is Beth Selim as well, which is an Israeli organization that has also demanded a okay. third party investigation occur. I am not going to. I am not going to conclusively say that this was not. I don't Israel's expect you to. Fault. I Why? don't expect you to. Because I just gave you. Because I and not because I am a propagandist. As far as me being a propagandist goes, everyone is a propagandist. I'm just honest about it. You're a propagandist. We have our I'm biases. Curious who you think I'm I a am propagandist for? About my biases. Who do you think I'm a propagandist for? Who do I think you're a propagandist yeah. for? Whichever your every every media person is is doing propaganda. This yeah, but who, is, is but who for? I've got to be doing it for somebody. You think it's a bad word? I don't. That's just the difference. This, this is a I do. I think it's actually quite a serious charge. Hassan, I think it's a serious charge to level, not on a podcaster, but as a journalist who's broadcasting around the world, who has a reputation, I believe, for being fair and impartial, actually, on these issues. It's quite a charge to just say. I'm a stenographer for the Israeli government or I'm a propagandist. I don't think there's any evidence I'm either of those things. I'm curious who you think I'm doing while the propaganda for. While we're having this for. conversation, 3,000 peers, while we're having this back and forth, 3,840 Palestinians have been ruthlessly slaughtered mm -hmm. in the last incursion into Gaza. I feel like this is an incredibly selfish, self-centered conversation to have. You asked me to be on here. You wanted, you wanted to hear my perspective. I'm willing to give it to you. I don't want to talk about like whether the I don't want to talk about Noam Chomsky style manufacturing okay. consent conversations okay. about how the media is operating listen, in the I, in the, listen, uh, the behest of capital. You were the guy. Owners. Listen, I think you were the guy that called me. There are dead people. Listen, son, I only asked you because you're the guy that called me a propagandist and called me a baboon in the suit. I was curious as to why. You don't want to say I who, know, I'm, but, who I'm but doing I, the propaganda for. We'll move on. We'll move on. I agree. It's far more probable that this was actually fired from within Gaza, it was a misfire, and it landed in the car park next to the hospital. And they cite, for example, the, the crater is tiny by comparison to the kind of crater you would see from a conventional Israel missile, uh, and so on. What is your response to that? Have you changed your absolute conviction that this is an Israeli airstrike? Before I answer your question, uh, Piers, um, today is the first day of our national mourning for uh, the killing of hundreds of innocent people. And in, me in memory of those hundreds of doctors, nurses, medical staff, patients, cancer patients, uh, uh, patients with kidney failures, children, innocent people who took refuge in a Baptist-sponsored hospital, mm. the Anglican. Mm. 
In memory of all of those who were killed last night, allow me to have a moment of silence. Now back to your question. This very same hospital, the Baptist Ahli Hospital of Gaza, was bombarded only two days before last night by the Israeli airstrike. And they recognized that. This very same hospital was designated by Israel as a place to be evacuated. This very same hospital the director of it was called by the Israeli occupation authorities asking him to evacuate all patients en masse. But that's not my question. No, 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 that's, no, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm answering your question and allow me to answer. My question is, are you still as sure as you were I, last I, I, night? I, I'm, I, I'm answering, I'm answering your question. I believe the Archbishop of Jerusalem, when he condemns the Israeli airstrike, I don't believe the Israeli mouthpieces and spokespeople. They lie more than they breathe. And this is, their record is very clear. Number, number three, number three. You think uh, groups in Gaza have such, you know, uh, uh, precision and firepower? Really? Seriously? Well, I don't think it was precise. Seriously? That's the point. If you look Seriously? at the BBC, if you look at the BBC, ambassador, with respect, if you look at the BBC, you look at the BBC investigation. It was. They include footage which Listen. seems to show a rocket misfiring. Let's Listen. have a look. Let Let's have a look. There's no sound. You see, it go, you see it go up and then you see a ball of fire and it looks like, and this was the BBC's conclusion, based again on circumstantial evidence, that this was fired from within Gaza, it misfired, it then landed in the yes. car park next to the hospital. Yes. Now, yes. all I ask yes. you this, Ambassador... Yes. I am an ambassador, I'm yeah. an official, yeah. and I tell you with certainty, this was an Israeli airstrike. Where's your evidence? I have the evidence and you will see the evidence. But where is it? I'll tell you what's my evidence. Mm. My evidence is that we are calling for the Red Cross to come and investigate this mm -hmm. and for the ICC. And until now, the Red Cross has the responsibility at such uh, war crimes. Who's, who's uh, blocking the, 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 the Red Cross? Anyway, we have very strong civil society, human rights organizations on the ground. We are communicating with them. Tomorrow you will hear from everybody. And, and you we believe have, you will produce we have, evidence we that it is Israeli? We have, yes, we will. Yes, we will. Why would the American the question, ambassador... Pierce, the this, question, Pierce, Let me ask you this. You why know, would, the, don't ask me about the, the Americans. The Americans... Have, why would the President uh, of the United States say that his own independent investigation by his own people, i.e. Not the, not the intelligence given to him by the Israelis, uh, that has also uh, established uh, it came from within Gaza? Is that a serious question, Pierce? Really? You think the Americans are... You think he's lying, President uh, Biden? Yes, he is lying. He is lying. And he is part of... That's a big charge to make about uh, well, he, the President of the United has, States. he has just lied before getting any evidence. There is no way... No, such, he's seen, he's seen such evidence. Far, I don't know if he's seen evidence. But he said he had. He doesn't have personnel. If he has personnel, he must pro provide protection for yeah. our civilians. Then he is complicit in the crimes against... But when you see that video, what do then, you think you're... Then what, Biden is... What do you think you're if seeing, he has, It's whitewashing and gaslighting, mm. as we have been seeing well, over what if, decades. What if you're wrong? And, uh, well, what if I am wrong? Bring me again here, OK? OK. Bring me again here, and then we'll discuss it. OK. No one has such firepower except the Israeli... But have you seen the crater? Occupation have you seen the crater? ...army. And you know what? No one even in the region has such firepower. Have you this seen... This is a very seen, sophisticated... Have you seen the crater? I have seen. I have... Bon I have Does that crater not tell seen, you it was not seen. an Israeli airstrike? You see, this is the trick. I'll tell you what happened. Hmm. Israel did it. Israel thought the world was giving it the green light, mm. that it was okay to do so. But when we did it, they did not expect the outcry, and then they did it again as they do all the but time. Why is the crater so small? As they, as they do all the time, they simply go out and deny it, mm. blur the lines, two stories we don't know. And I will remind you, mm. few weeks from now or few months, Israel will come out and admit it. Mm. But it will be too late. They will not get the condemnation. I don't think they, I don't think they will. They, will. they will admit it, as they did in the past. 